plummeting. Alright, so let's open this up. And the first thing we gotta do is actually fix this dirt. Oops, that was brilliant. Whoa! Whoa, horsey. Whoa, horsey. Yeah, it's funny, because I actually made Cascade Falls back when I didn't know water that well. Uh, so I have come a long, long way. There we go. So you can see that actually flows pretty far before it finally uh, runs out of steam, if you will. So what I'm going to do is kind of just add some water flow there. Actually, yeah, we'll add some water flow there. Now, now we're just pretty much creating water flow, more or less. Water is fun, and uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. It's probably one of the easiest things to play around with once you can get buckets, of course, or you, and uh, have fun with. So if you're really curious about building stuff or whatever, play with water, you know. Now I need to go get another few here. This will take a few, but as you can see, some of it is making its way down here. Alright. We are getting there. That does look cool so far. It's nice to do this in peaceful mode, especially at night. Wow, the currents are strong. Because it, you can really get a feel for uh, what's going on here. Okay, it looks like we're going to need... Whoa, there, horsey. Shit, that was brilliant. Ooh. Lost my footing there. in that middle part. Oh yeah. That's great. Looking awesome. Freaking awesome. Ugh, lag. Alright. You guys give me a moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with these frames per second settings to try and so I can fix some of this, so just a second. Alright, I'm at 30 frames per second. I've had some syncing issues with this before, but I'm kind of hoping maybe it'll help. So I guess we'll see. Need to place some water right there. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now we've got water flowing all the way down here. Awesome, awesome, awesome! Ooh, there's a torch. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is actually put water around here to help keep extending it down this channel, if you will, to this point, and then it'll just kind of fall into the, uh, to the lake. You'll have to excuse me again for a second. I want to make sure the sinking's doing okay, so I'll be right back. All right, it looks like that's sinking up pretty well, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 30 for right now, and we'll see what happens, guys. All right, back to the work at hand. I need to continue extending this. It's getting there. Should be a few more buckets. 
Oh shit. Always off a little bit. At least we don't have to go far. There. Good, good, good. Right there. Oh yeah, very close. Very close. And there. We are really close. Yep, just gotta get the other side now. Otherwise, we're in business. Oh my lord. Currents are crazy now. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense, but I mean, still, damn. There. There we go. Awesome. Lake, or er, Cascade Falls has been extended. As we can see. Check that out. That is so cool. I like it. I really, really do. So we have Cascade Falls kind of split here. Some of it falls this way, continuing, and then some falls down this way into the continuation of it underneath there. And then now we got this kind of going out back here. Almost like an aqueduct, I guess. There you guys go. There's a project for you. Seems like I might do that. I really like that. It looks really cool. I just like how it goes underneath there. I like it, guys. I, I think... I think that works really well. What do you guys think? Let me know. Because uh, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty simple extension. And uh, and such. I mean, I could do a lot more with it. Um, you know, hell, I could have turned it around and had it go out that direction as well. But uh, let me know, guys. You know, let me know. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Alright, guys, we are back. So, Cascade Falls extended. I like it. And what's cool is if I want to extend it more, I can always... Always extend it out over here. That's always a possibility. Um, I'm not sure where it might go. It might kind of flow down over here, and maybe like a pond or something. That might be kind of cool. But, uh, for now... Liking it. Liking it a lot. Very cool. Very awesome. And I'll throw a light there. Very, very happy with uh, how that is. Plop. Didn't like that there. There's much better. So... Let's take the easy way down. Just follow the water. Currents can be a little confusing. We. Actually, I need to fix this. I do like that. That just it looks so much better now. Because it always kinda looked like it was missing something there, and now with this fall here, it just I think it looks so much better. I really do. I hope you guys think so too. And then it just flows on out into the into the ocean. Or the ocean. It's the lake. <laughs> All right, so let's let's head in. I do like this change. It just oh man, that looks so much better. All right, so there we go. 
I'm happy with that. So let me put this stuff away. Cascade Falls has been uh, extended on April 1st, guys. No fool's joke. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I know. Alright, put those away. I got a lot of stuff here uh, to put away. Let me see. I need to make me another shovel. So I got a sapling, some glass, I got all this cobble. Alright, let me put this wood away. In fact, I'm just gonna... There, problem solved. Okay, um, put this glass away. And this water buckets. There we go. I gotta finish those apartments here. I really do. Okay, glass. Good. Got some saplings put away. Oh yes, I don't know if you, I showed you guys. Uh, I did a little extra work, of course, and I added a new room here. Uh, right behind here. It just it kind of seemed to fit. And I also added another room here as well. So you can kind of see the storage room here. You can see the stairs here. Made this all cobble threw in some windows here to the tree form so you can kind of see. Uh, it just looks a lot nicer that way, I think. I, I don't remember if I showed that to you guys, so there you go. Alright, cobble to put away. Sounds like something stuck in the uh, falls downstairs. I think I have extra dirt here I don't need. So I'm gonna go burn it. We got dirt. Should we burn her? Yeah. Okay, that wasn't that funny. <laughs> there we go. Some wool to put away. And as soon as I do this, I will turn it back to normal. Because there's no reason to have it on. Doing that stuff, it's it, it's just a little easier for me. Alright, there we go. So let me switch this back to normal. That's better. I'm going to make me another shovel. And then we're going to head out and we're going to do a few things. I need, I'm going to have to bring a few things. So uh, let me just make another shovel real quick. I'm going to need to bring cobble, actually. That's mainly what I'm going to need. Cobble, I've got wood. I've got plenty of wood planks. Do I have any extra? I do have an extra crafting table. I might as well bring that with me. Um, everything else I think I'll leave for now. I can always come back for it. Let's see. I, I'm going to need cobble. That's That's for sure. So let me bring a decent amount of cobble. One, two, three, and four. That's perfect. That should be enough. I've got enough for everything else. Okay. First, before we go anywhere, let's take a quick look at how that looks. That is kind of cool. <laughs> you can't even tell the difference. It's just like a little water just all of a sudden goes over. It's like, what the heck? You come on over here, you can kind of see it continue. See the fence. That is cool. You can actually see up into here now. See out to where the docks are. I, I kind of like that. I might have to fix that dirt, though. It just kind of looks out of place. I really like that. Um, let, me, let me see how that looks down here. Yeah, you can't even tell the water flows coming in over here. Big, the big question mark is right here. Wow, you can't even tell right there. Oh, that is so cool. I like that. Look at that. That just that is so much better. Still got a really cool view and everything, but oh my gosh, that looks so much better. I like that. It's, it's cool. I like that a lot. Hope you guys do too. All right, let's hop in our boat here. Gotta be careful because these things are a lot. Whew. Wow. 
That was fast. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go collect that clay that the sub pointed out. Sorry, I don't remember your name. And I don't feel like pausing the video again to find out. You guys have kind of seen that enough. Uh, so we are going to head out, grab that, and then we're going to go start uh, a little area that we're going to be doing work in. Should have brought some health stone and stuff. I'll do that later. I'll kind of be back and forth. So, first thing, as we come out here, a little lag, sorry, and there's the beacon. So you can see the beacon, good. I was kind of worried about that, but you can see it. It's like, okay, I need to go this way. Um, that's pretty straightforward enough. Because basically what we're going to do is after we grab this clay, is I'm going to uh, start building a little like shed or area or something over here by this desert because that's going to be like our sand mine if you will uh, hopefully we'll also find clay there that's my hope that looks, that looks great actually it's perfect so like right over here is kind of where it's going to be so it's kind of kind of perfect that the beacons are around this area because that's all sand and that's kind of where we're going to do it at so for now, let me follow these beacons. Somebody did point out these are really beacons, not really buoys, and uh, that's true, actually. Yeah, most of this desert here, desert biome, early desert biome, is going to become like our sand mining area. And uh, instead of digging, we're going to blast. Oh yeah, you heard me right, people. We're going to blast. It's going to be a blast. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Pun. All right, let me make sure. I don't want to miss it. I'm just going to kind of move over here for a second. It doesn't matter, but try not to hit anything. I'm not supposed to be on this side, but uh, I know it's around this side. Yeah, it's like right here, and I'm so glad he pointed out because I totally missed it. I was looking outward so much, and half the time when I'm going through here, it's nighttime, so I don't see it at all. Yep, there it is. Look at that clay, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to park the boat over on this side. Let's top on out. Got my dirt here. Oh, gorgeous clay. It's a nice. Nice amount, too. Let's fill this in. So I can work and get my clay in peace. Clay, beautiful clay. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Okay, now I gotta find out who his, who his name was. Let me. You guys can stare at the screen here while I I take a look, because I'm sorry. This is a nice find of clay, and uh, I want to say thank you properly. Oops, wrong one. No, no, that's the right one. Uh, Garrett Ferguson. Thank you so much, for Ger Ferguson for uh, pointing out the time and uh, helping me see that all this clay because this is great because we need clay so thank you so much very cool there is a good amount here in fact I need to kind of extend this out a little Just a little. There we go. So there we are. Now I have all that clay. And I believe that's all of it. Whoops. Sure looks like it. Now what I'm going to do, because I don't want this hideous hole just gaping here, 
is actually uh, going to remove most of the sand around it. And I'm going to f let the water just kind of flow in. Hopefully I have enough dirt to do this. Oh dear, it's getting dark time already. That's not good. collect some of this dirt in order to fill this in properly. So there we go. We've got uh, almost st almost stack and a half. So that ain't bad. Sun is setting and we are on normal. So this is a big deal. So we need to get our butts moving. It took a little longer than I anticipated. But thank you again for pointing that out. If you guys see clay again as well, you know, anytime, please feel free to point out anything I miss. Cause sometimes I do miss it. All right, it is getting dark and spooky. Luckily, we don't have to go too far, but I don't think I'm going to make a a shelter fast enough. Which is a little unfortunate. But we'll we'll do what we can and we can brave the elements or the monsters or whatever. Maybe if we can get over there before the sun completely sets, we'll at least have a working area that's safe enough. Oh, that's adorable. Somebody just ran through the fire. Is that a cow? Or a duck? I don't know what that was, but I love it when they do that. Just walk into the fire. It won't hurt. Not that much. Not for long, anyway. <laughs> All right, so right over here is where I want the actual uh, dock or little area that I'm going to make here. There is a skeleton up there, right there. There's another skeleton there, skeleton there, 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 spider. Uh, there's another skeleton there, lag, skeleton over there. This doesn't look promising. Retreat. <laughs> we'll be back. I'll, I'll come back. Going back to the fort, putting some of this clay away, stuff like that, grabbing some of the other materials I might have forgotten. Are those spiders in the water? Shit. I have to go around this way. Um... Be Holy crap, Creeper Island. Wow. Alright. So there is the first lights of Cascade City. The outer perimeter, if you will. Our uh, Lockman channel. Had in that uh, vicinity. Ooh, I hear zombies. Oh, 
awesome, awesome. Wow, there's lots of livestock. Squid in the channel. Stuck in the hole. That's cute. Man, the city is beautiful at night. Just getting better and better as I continue to expand it, too. Alright, slow down a little so we can get in here. Whoop, lag. Very nice. The boat will pretty much take over from here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, easy. There you go. Ploppity. Plop. Plop. There we go. I do love that underwater. So. Alright, let's put this sand away and this clay away. And, uh, I guess while we're waiting... Oops, it doesn't go here. For morning, we can do a few things to prepare. So I'm going to put this clay here for now. And uh, put the sand away for now. Okay. I guess... We will need a few things. I don't know if I have enough wood with me. Uh, but since... We are going to blast a lot. I guess what I could do is go ahead and make chests here. That way I can get more wood. Because we're going to need a lot of wood. And I need a, a, a few chests. That should be almost enough. I think I need one more just to be sure. So we'll turn these into sticks. So if I'm gonna make docks or some sort of dock, it might be a good idea. So I think I'm gonna take some stone slams. Um, or maybe some wooden slabs. I don't have a lot of wooden slabs though. I'll just take stone slabs. I'll probably need some stairs. Um, I think the rest I could make just fine. So, I think that's all I'll bring with me. Let me get a little bit more dirt. And there we go. Okay. It's awesome. So, daylight will be coming here in just a moment. So, we're going to head on out. So I'm going to pause for a second, and when we come back, we'll head back over there and start building uh, basically the uh, air, little, I guess, I don't know what to call it, a hut or work area or dock, or I guess a dock for the uh, blast zone for our uh, sand mine. So you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 